Assalamu alaikum hurmatli okulçular. Good evening everyone and dear students. Today we're going to talk about requests. Bugun biz sizlar bilan iltimos yoki iltimoslar haqida gaplashamiz. I wanted to remind you that we're meeting every week every Saturday at 3:30 Mountain Time. And you're welcome to join us via Zoom. You can email me to get your link. And this is lesson 26, Learn Uzbek with Naza. Also, we open our new page on Facebook. Please join our page, Uzbek Language Learners of the World. Uzbek Tiladarsini Mihmona Bolishness Taisizma? Kaisa Soha Egasa Bolmine? Bussisna Kutub Kolamas. If you speak Uzbek, we welcome you to the World Language and Culture Program's Uzbek class as a guest speaker, no matter what degree you hold or what kind of job you do, we always welcome any guests. In the organamas. Now we will learn together. Iltamos. Isming is nighting. Iltamos. Isming is nighting. Please tell me your name. Пожалуйста, скажи мне свое имя. Iltamos here, as you can see. Пожалуйста, or please. Sam means name. And aitmok from the verb aiting. You tell me. So it means I think. I think. I think means to say or to tell. I think here. Here's the verb. Iltamos is ming is nighting. You can always change, leave iltamos and I think, and in the middle, any questions you want to ask, you can ask. For example, iltamos, qayerdan ikanligingizni I think. Yoki iltimos qayerdan ekanligizi I think please tell me from where you are or you could ask about somebody's last name iltimos familiyangizni I think iltimos bu shahar haqida aytib bering or you could ask about, please tell me about the city or davlat. Instead of city, you could say davlat or mamlakat means country. Qishloq, village. Iltimos, bu qishloq haqadaytib bering. Please tell me about this village. Iltimos, bu shahar haqadaytib bering. Iltimos, bu davlat haqadaytib bering. Please tell me about this country. Iltimos, bu mamlakat haqida aytib bering. Please tell me about this country. Okay? Aytib bermoq, it's a set expression, means to tell. You could say aytmoq also to tell, but aytib bermoq as a set expression also. Next one. Iltimos, kitob ingizni berib turolmaysizmi? Iltimos Topping is never up to my sisma. Could or would you please give or lend me your book? Не могли бы вы дать одолжить мне вашу книгу? Iltimos means please. Kitab here means book. Kitab. And when we say ingis here, I N G I Z, it means your. Okay. In Uzbek, we use separate um, endings although in english we say your here we're adding to the noun kitobing is ma and biruptrmok as a set expression means to lend or to give to somebody birup turmok but here because we're making a request we're saying iltimos kitobing is ne ma Sis means you and me is a question mark. Can you? Could you? Would you? 
you can always add any other nouns and say iltimas. Telefoning is never up to my sister. Could you lend me your phone? Iltimas. Idishing is never up to my sister. Could or would you please lend me your dish or phone or anything? And here, I thought that it would be nice to talk about school supplies or anything you could ask, okay? For example, ruchka, pen, qalam, pencil, qalam ochgich, sharpener, or tachilka, daftar, daftar, notebook, tetrad, ochrgich, eraser, ochrgich, yelam, glue, clay, Kaiche. Kaiche. Kaiche means scissors. Nožnice. Globus. Globe. Globus. Computer. Computer. Computer or notebook. And if you want to come back, you could say Iltamos. Computering is nebir of troll my sisma. Could you please give me your computer? Or iltimos, qalaming izni berib turolmaysizmi? Could you lend me your pencil? Or iltimos, ruchkang izni berib turolmaysizmi? If you are at the airport, you wanted to write down something, you could ask, right? Okay, I hope these nouns were helpful. You can always stop, go back, repeat, write down, or use them in your sentences. Now let's practice. I think it's time to play a game. So let's play a game. Killing in the Uyen Uynaymas. Uyen Uynamok means to play a game. Uyen means game. So I want you to look at the picture and name the words and ask a question. So, Rasamge Karain, Vasavolge Javopirin. Look at the picture and answer the question. Посмотрите на картинку и ответьте на вопрос. Расымге карай, вас авольге джаваб берей. And you can see colors here. Расым means picture. Карай means look at something. Савол means answer or question. And джаваб means answer. Okay. And our game is to ask about bunema. What is this? For example, bunema. What is it? Look at the picture and you could read the word, right? Bu ochurgach. Bu ochurgach. Bunema. Bu circle. Bu circle. Bunema. We say scotch, okay? Tape or scotch. Bunema, bulinika, bunema, bukraska, bunema, kalam lar. And remember, always lar means plural form, kalam or kalam lar. But here, since we're talking about um, colors, we would say rangli kalam lar. Rangli kalamlar. Rangli means colorful. Rangli kalamlar. Okay, I hope you can play this game and ask your partner or just play yourself and repeat by saying bunema, what is it? And bu, this is a name of the object. Also, you could continue and say iltimos, minge, and noun means ot, right? You could use any noun and say minge, uchurgachne uzatub yubor almaisizma, since we're talking about requests, right? Iltimos, minge, uchurgachingizne, or uchurgachne uzatub yubor almaisizma. The first time I said 
uchirgachingizni your okay razor but if you say just uchirgachni it means just general any uzatib yubora olmaysizmi uzatib yubormoq means to pass right um or to give it to somebody And you can do the same thing with other nouns. Iltimos, menga rangli qalamlarni uzatib yubora olmaysizmi? Iltimos, menga rangli qalamlarni uzatib yubora olmaysizmi? Next one I would like to talk about uh, specific phrases. And we can look at the words. Malol kelmasa telefoningiz raqaman aitsangiz. Malol kelmasa. Malol kelmasa is a very good, nice way to ask something, right? It means, would you kindly tell me or would you mind? Malol kelmasa telefoningiz raqaman aitsangiz or telefon raqamingizni beralmaisizma? Would you kindly tell me the number of your phone? Не могли бы вы назвать мне номер вашего телефона? Телефон, here you can see, here, телефон. And rakam means номер. Or number. Remember, we talked about number, numbers a couple of weeks ago. Rakam, rakam, number. Malol kelmasa. The next phrase is also with malol kelmasa. Malol kelmasa, бір ілтимасым бар еді. Менге ердам қылалмайсыз ма? Could you do me a favor? Could you help me, please? Не могли бы вы сделать мне одолжение? Or не могли бы мне помочь? Малол келмаса, бір ильтамасын бореды. Менге ордам құралмайсызмы? Ол бер алмайсызмы? To give means to give a help, like, you know, to help somebody. Менге халал бермасангез сізден Remember, we talked about being um, thankful, and we're using it here again. Minge halal bermasangis, sizdan juda minnat dar bolardim. I would appreciate it very much if you didn't disturb me. Ya bil bi ochin priznatilin, yesli bi vi minya ni bispakoyli. Okay, if you wanted to ask somebody nicely, gently, you could say, Minge halal bermasangis, iltimos. You could stop there. Or if you wanted to make sure that you're super nice, you could say, Minge halal bermasangiz, sizdan juda minnat dar bolardim. The next one is, you could use any noun, like radio, radio, televizor. Radio ne yoki, or televizor ne qoyub yuborsangiz, sizdan juda minnat dar bolardim. I would appreciate Appreciate it if you turn on the radio or TV for me, right? If I'm sitting in the living room and I, I'm asking somebody. Radio ne, yoki televizor ne, koyup yuborsangiz, sizdan jidda minat dar bolardim. Koyup bermoq here to turn on. Kluchit. Minge yordam berishingizni sorayman. Can you please help me? Minge yordam berishingizni sorayman. Yordam bermoq is a set phrase to help someone, okay? Yordam bermoq. Minge yordam berishingizni sorayman. Soramoq means to ask. Soramoq. But here we are conjugating, we're saying I ask. Min sorayman. Minge yordam berishingizni sorayman. Ya hatyal bi poprasit vas pomoch mne. For example, you could say, Right? This is door. Door means eshik. Eshikne ochib yuboralmaisizma? We're asking. Always am I means a question. Right? Would you mind opening the door? Look how the structure, how it looks like the sentence. Eshikne ochib yuboralmaisizma? Would you mind opening the door? Nimaglibavat kritzdir. Ochib yubormoq means to open, okay? Yordam bermoq means to help. In the previous sentence, we talked about yordam bermoq. Sizga 
tashrif nomamni topshirsam bo'ladimi yoki maylimi? Sizga tashrif nomamni bersam maylimi? You could say even. Sizga tashrif nomamni topshirsam maylimi? Sizga tashrif nomamni bersam bo'ladimi? Can I give you my card? Mogu ya addats vam svoyu vizitku? Topshirmoq means to give. And I wanted to make sure you get this one, Tashrif Noma. Tashrif Noma means your card, right? Very good word. Finally, I would like to talk about specific requests, right? If you're, if you're a teacher and you want to ask your students um, to be quiet, you could say, Please keep quiet. Пожалуйста, ведите себя тихо. Or соблюдайте тишину. Iltimos, please. Tinchlik. Tinchlik also could be uh, peace, but here we're talking about being quiet, right? Iltimos, chikilmasen. Iltimos, chikilmasen. No smoking, please. Не курить, пожалуйста. Chikmok means to smoke. Kursam mailama. May I come in? Kursam mailama. May I come in? Kırmaq means to enter or to come. Şu yerda turşimge karşıya mas mısız? Şu yerda turşimge karşıya mas mısız? Here uh, means şu yerda. Turmaq means to get up, to stand or to stay. See different meanings. But here we're talking about uh, to stand actually. Do you or do you? Mind my staying here? Do you mind my staying here? Не возвращайте. Если я буду стоять здесь, турмок. Шу юрда туршим я карши масмасис. I hope you enjoyed our expressions today and you can make requests. Oli manki sis in the iltimos or kali kaplar to the Uzbekistan ge borgan ingizda iltimos qilishingiz mumkin. Ko'rishguncha, xayr. Bye.